Is it Rickon? All right, I'm gonna try to do a manicure stream today. How's it going, friends? Not sponsored by Bubbly. Got some coffee, you got some bubbly. I've never done a live manicure stream before, so this should be fun. Choose some of these and then get started in a few minutes here. I just remember this brilliant thing that um, someone had suggested to use a glass tabletop to cure the nails because I was trying to figure out how to squeeze the nail tips on my fingers and cure them at the same time. And I got this awesome new sun UV lamp recently, this one right here, and it works really good. I've been using it so much I got like paint all over it, but then I was going to put it on this glass table to cure the tips on my fingers so almost everything else I think I'll be able to do right in front of the camera or I'll just move I finally got the camera in a perfect spot and so I forgot that the glass tabletops like over there but we can do most of this stuff we'll choose these and then I can decide if we're gonna do that um, glass tabletop thing Here. I'm gonna grab the cord for the sun UV lamp. Here it is. Whoa. Alright, it's like automatically on. Trying to figure out the best way to do gel nail polish and I've done like maybe four or five gel nail sets before so literally only a few but before that I did years of regular nail polish so that's about as far as my knowledge extends just regular nail polish on myself not like definitely not professionally or anything <laughs> But I can see how people could get obsessed with it and want to do it as a profession because nail art is so much fun. Especially with the tools of today because I remember back in the day when I was when I was growing up, I feel like I would only ever hear about acrylic nails and they were always very expensive and I did a lot of like service jobs and I don't know. I didn't really think about I wasn't really thinking about fake nails back then. I remember I got acrylic nails for my high school prom, and that was exciting, but now that it's so easy to do your own gel nails, I'm all about it. I got this whole Madame Glam set right here. So I'll probably choose one or two of those to start and then see where it goes from there. I think the stream is working. Let me just refresh it and make sure. Looks like it. Hell yeah, it's working. All right, um, cool. I was just kind of wondering like how the best way is to like do a gel nail stream, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I guess my hands are pretty much in view. 
It's kind of a lot of junk here. All right, well, we'll decide. Um, let's first choose the, the tips, and then we'll choose the colors. How about that? Even though I don't have my face on the camera right now, I put on a little eyeliner just for myself because it's self-care Sunday. A little eyebrow. And I'm going to feel cute. this I'll make a goal to complete a full set of nails by um, okay right now it's a quarter after two and let's say like by a quarter after three let's give ourselves one hour to try to make a decent set where if like I wanted to wrap it up it would be okay if you ready to be finished um, that'll be the goal well, let's try for one hour for minimum viable product and if we want to continue at that point, we could spend another half hour or something. <laughs> oh, one thing I realized is um, I got this awesome new phone harness. And it's like right under um, right under here, So, but it's like attached to the table. So I'll try not to bounce the table around very much. But I realized that next time we do this, I'll try to attach it to the other area, um, to a different table that is. By the way, so I'll just point out that my nail right here is a little bit fucked up, and I think that it got burnt. Um, I was really worried last time when I took off the nails a week ago, and I made a video about it on my regular channel and on my TikTok. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what if I have that green fungus under the finger? And I was like, I had heard about this um, thing where you can get like bacteria under your fingers, and you would have to like go to the doctor and get like antibiotics and stuff if it gets really bad. So I was gonna make sure to, they say to like make sure that you're thorough with your, uh, what's it called? Prep work, your prep work. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start by, um, honestly, I'm not even gonna do much here because I don't, I'm honestly, I'm a little bit afraid that if the product touches my skin at all, like I don't want it to hit any, any sort of like broken skin or anything because, um, I've noticed that like if you have a cut on your finger or anything like that, you definitely don't want um, <laughs> you definitely don't want to cure the polish on your fingers at all. So um, because you can get an allergy to the gel nail polish. So I've heard all these warnings and been really careful not to get any of those problems that people talk about. <laughs> um, so I was worried that this finger had that greeny problem. But it's been a week and it seems to be growing out just fine. And it's, uh, there was this one time when I was curing this, like, I was curing like a third coat and I was kind of like mixing products. And for a second, it felt like it got really hot. And so I don't know if it was like the metallic, um, like the foil that I had. I had a suspicion that maybe it was like the foil in com combination with the um, different type of stuff that I was putting on top. Anyway, um, it seems to be fine, so I'm not going to worry about it, but if it looked like it was getting worse or something, then I would run to the doctor crying and screaming. And if anyone here has ever had a problem with their nails that they would like to educate me or anyone else on, just let me know. <laughs> I was honestly kind of curious. Um, I was really scared to Google search what could go wrong. But I didn't have to look far because in some nail groups that I'm in, I joined a couple of nail groups trying to learn about this gel nail polish and stuff. And people are always talking about what's going on and what works, what doesn't work, and all this good stuff. Cool. Um. I was just wondering if this, oh yeah, cool. Yeah, there's this one um, Discord server that I'm in and it's mine. <laughs> in my Discord server, I have this one channel that's got social feed on it and it's supposed to like give you all my social media posts. 
All right, anyway, I was just using alcohol on my fingers just for fun. But later, right before we actually attach these, we will put acetone, a little bit of acetone on them. I'm also nervous to search what exactly does acetone do to your fingers? Like, is there anything that can go wrong? I mean, people have been using it for eons on their fingers, so I don't think that there's anything too bad about it. All right, so I remember offhand that my thumb is a number one. <laughs> um, oh yeah, speaking of acetone, I got this thing right here. I thought it would be perfect to like lay out these fingernails, but it's got this kind of like rust happening and I was like, gross, you know? Let me see if I can clean it off with the acetone and if it will clean off, then I'll use it. Okay, I just turned on the overhead light. Sometimes I see people wearing gloves when they're doing their own nails. Um, I think that, I mean, my fingers are not exactly all that more beautiful right now, but they will be. <laughs> you can see the, the transformation that's happening before your very eyes. All right, cool. Let me check and make sure I'm not missing any action. It's weird though how it doesn't mention that I'm, so, oh, pro probably because I have a different um, account attached to my YouTube and Discord. It doesn't say that I'm live, but I am. Anyway, but it did post a thing. Cool. Well, anyway, we're gonna do this manicure. We're gonna give ourselves till a quarter after three, and that's the goal. All right. Thanks uh, in advance if anyone stops by. I just popped out the chat, so once I got my fingers busy, then I can still read it. Um, okay. I was just curious, like one thing I was thinking about is like, I don't really want to touch acetone with my hands too much. In fact, I'm going to get a, one thing. All right, I just got a, I got a little bowl with some acetone in it. Cause I got this giant fucking jug from Home Depot of acetone. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. It's like only $10 for this big old thing. I was actually curious if the acetone would take this rust off. Doesn't it take rust off things too? Well, I turned on the overhead fan and... <laughs> Let me know if anyone has any questions. I've been attempting to give myself a specific break on Sundays where I focus on self-care. Ever since I heard about self-care Sundays, I was like, I'm on board. I need that. <laughs> I never really, well, I do. I intentionally have to make time to take breaks or I'm trying to get better at that actually so that I can also be live or go live and hang out more. All right, well, it's not really coming off. I don't know how to get that shit off. There's probably some rust remover or something. All right, well, I am touching with my hands now. I was like, not sure the worst thing that could happen, but I'll, I'll Google search it later. Like what happens when you put acetone on your fingers? It, okay. As long as you, it dries them out, from what I understand, it'll dry out your fingers but that as long as you use like extra cuticle oil later, then you should be fine. That's how I understand it, but I'm not sure if that's right. <laughs> okay, cool. So normally on this channel, actually we do t-shirt cutting in, um, I think I've only done one or two live streams on this channel in my entire life. Okay, this one is really, oh yeah, I just remembered that I got this magnifying glass. It's right beside me. Just gonna, this is exactly why I was trying to get a freaking 
I was like trying to get reading glasses, I tried to get contacts, but then I had the nails on, so it was really hard to do the contacts. And it was my first time trying to do contacts, and it was so hard. Okay, this is a number two. I think that's a little bit big, but it might be the right size. I'm not 100% sure, but it, it might be. I think that I wanted a three for that one. I'm so excited about the magnifying glass. All right, here's three. One thing that happened is that I already broke the clippers that I bought um, because I guess they weren't really good enough to manage to cut off. All right, two's way too big. We're gonna go with three for the uh, middle finger. I have some eyebrow makeup on me. So if you're wondering what this is. <laughs> I like to use my hand as a palette sometimes. Cool. Well, yeah, we're just gonna do nails today and see if I can manage to actually do it in a whole hour. Um, I broke the clippers, but I have other big clippers that are just like not really the rounded kind. I really like the rounded clippers for nails. Okay, this one says, hell yeah, magnifying glass for All right, four is kind of big. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, did I get out of that one? All right, that, that's three. Okay, those ones four. All right, I think this one's the pinky sized one. I heard that a lot of people say that they feel relaxed when they do nail art and so that's one of the reasons that I decided to continue pursuing nail art. I was like, oh yeah, I need some more relaxing hobbies in my life. <laughs> Something that will chill me the fuck out, you know? These look good. Okay, the last two times I did the gel nail polish manicures were probably the best times because before that I felt like I wasn't really sure how to take them off and so I kind of fucked up my nails are kind of like thin but they've been growing out and I'd say the the newer nail is like better than the other ones <laughs> so I've been, I've been trying to get a little bit better all right we got the pinky we got a, oh shit as soon as I take it out I forget which one I took it out of was it that one Hopefully the chat is working. I got the chat popped out. Okay, I'm refreshing it just in case. Streamlabs was connected on here, but it doesn't really seem like it. I thought I connected all my Streamlabs together, but just when I think I got everything. I do have a lot of YouTube channels, but I don't normally stream live on this one. At least the Discord alert worked. Okay, cool. So we got thumbs. Okay, we need the first finger. First finger. I wanted to wipe off my fingers with the alcohol at first because when I'm touching these, I didn't want to leave any oils on them, if possible. Okay, what is that? Oh, yeah. I can't ever tell. Like, it's so hard to read them if it's like a five or a two. Oh, shit, man. All right, it's definitely a five when looked at in that direction. <laughs> Sometimes I like to get the like two that are right next to each other so that it's snug. All right, this one's a six actually. Oh god, definitely the five is better.
If this case is marked with the numbers on the bottom, I'm gonna feel so dumb. Cause I'm always like struggling to read each one. <laughs> I guess I do wanna just double check and everything, so that's good. They're so thick at the bottom, that's my main complaint. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be, but I feel like I always have to file off a bunch whenever um, it gets to that point. All right, we got all five for each hand. Last week I, um, so I've experimented both with and then like without etching the inside of these, each one of these uh, with the e-file. And last week I did not etch them because I thought eh, it's like an extra step. It kind of, one time I etched it too much and it was annoying and, um, but mainly I was just wondering how long they would stay on without going through that extra step. So we got the ones that we want. Hopefully we don't have to replace any Hopefully you don't mess up any of those. And let's see what else. So now that we have this, let me put these kind of... Try to get it in view. There it is. Alright. Um, I was wondering about trying to get some kind of... I was like, fuck Christmas, you know, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I love gift giving and stuff, but um, I don't know. I'm really excited for celebrating by making some awesome nails. Oh, yeah, I was, what I was actually trying to say is that I can't wait to do Christmas nails, but I wanted to try to do another set of, like, birthday-themed nails because last week, um, my birthday was on the first of this month, and it was so exciting, and... I had done some nails, but I wasn't sure about this one. I was like all concerned. I was like, what if I have to go to the doctor? I was like, I don't want to leave those nails on too long. I only wanted to leave them on for a week. And luckily they look just fine. Just a little bit brittle from the previous manicures not being gentle when I took them off. So I think I got a system down with the acetone and the removal process and uh, ease, like gently taking them off now. So I feel like in a few more months, then my nails will maybe be in better condition. And I've been using cuticle oil and taking vitamins and stuff. So hopefully in a few months I can report back and let you know that they're doing even better than ever. Um, so we got the lamp already plugged in. So yeah, what I was saying is that I got reds and some turquoises and awesome. Oh my God, I can't wait to show you this glitter that I got. It was actually a pretty damn good deal. But I got eight different colors of glitter, but this one I thought would be really, really pretty as a compliment to a Christmas set or something. Hold on. Oh yeah, that's tight. Good thing it was nice and tight so it didn't come out in the mail. Sorry my nails aren't beautiful yet, but let me just give you a sample. And I got eight different colors of this amazing chunky ass glitter because I've never actually owned glitter before like this for nails. So this is my first investment in some nail glitter. We're really going to level up our nail glitter game. Um, YouTube was, of course, suggesting I watch some videos about the terrible reasons why I shouldn't use glitter. And I was like already getting super sad about it. But I had already ordered this ship. And that's probably why Google realized that they should uh, recommend some glitter knowledge or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I have not watched it yet, so I don't know just yet how bad it is. I can only hope that the glitter is not too bad for the environment, and I try to be conscientious otherwise and stuff, so. Um, okay, so the Madame Glam has some really nice colors, and of course black, my favorite color, should be integrated in one way, I'd say. Um, I just got this cool mirror thing, but I don't want to set this down on it just in case it has... Somehow I managed to get a bunch of gel like inside this like nice box that they sent me. <laughs> so sometimes it has like gel on these. Oh. Hopefully that can protect perfectly. Um, if not, we we can just remove the. Wait, can you clean mirrors with acetone without taking the mirror off? Cool. So we're gonna decide what colors to use. We got our base coat. We got black. The perfect black. Can you see this? Or kind of. 
This is just the base coat, perfect black, and then I was thinking about doing like a nude. This, or I don't exactly have full blown nude, but kind of. We got pinks, and this one's the closest thing to nude. This one's called I Do. I don't know. It looks kind of clearish pinkish, but it's. I don't know. Is that? There's a lot of really cool colors that we have. Here, let me show you the, the choices that we have. Because I was thinking about doing like a light color, like a pink or a nude. I don't really have nudes, so. We have clear, pink, or like these kinds of colors. Cupid. It's not really focusing on what I want, but. It's not focusing at all. Anyway, I'll just tell you what it is. I think it's locked into focus, which is probably good. Um. We got this pink right here. We got a bunch to choose from. I don't really want to do the bright pink just yet because I figured, well, I don't know why not, I know. We can do pink Christmas. Maybe if we do two Christmas themes, we can do like, I can think of a lot of different Christmas ideas too, but there's like right after the holidays and there's Valentine's Day and shit. So if we're going to go all out and try to do holiday themed nails every month, <laughs> We can use the pinks and the reds for Valentine's Day or pretty much any holiday. I don't know why. Okay, so all we have, these are pretty much the colors that we have to choose from. We got clear, we got black, we got pink, we got red. Um, I was, I was trying to make these look unique from the other nails that I've done before. But... Okay, so honestly, the, the one that I bought that didn't come with all these, the awesome Madam Glam stuff was like um, complimentary, thanks to Madam Glam. They had sent me a couple of sets of nail polish, but this is one that I buy on my own. It's like a mermaid color. It's just super sheer, um, which I thought we should do birthday sheer, like nude with maybe some black detail with the sheer glitter and, and then those chunky ass glitters, you know what I mean? All right, well, I think we decided what we're gonna do. We're not gonna do red until the holidays. We're gonna get plenty of red. I really do like this kind of white pink, but uh, I think that we'll leave it out just in case, because it is kind of the closest thing to white. And this is the closest one to clear that I have. I don't know, we'll maybe consider those. And so we're gonna want all these. This is so exciting. All right, we could maybe get into the habit of doing this on a regular basis if it's fun. <laughs> All right, we got the polishes there and I'm gonna hide the ones that we're not gonna use because I don't want him to hit this UV light. Honestly, I think that as long as it's in the box, it'll be fine. So I'm just gonna put it back here. I don't think that those will be affected by this light. Is that far away enough? All right, hold on. Okay, sweet. So we're getting closer. Um, what time are we at now? It's only 2.37, so we spent 15 minutes to get our nails and our polish chosen. And then, okay, uh, last night I did keep track of how long did it take me to take off the nails, and it was approximately 30 minutes. So, um, <laughs> I don't know why, it's just like kind of interesting to me, like how how well can I do and how long does it take and then can I do it faster? <laughs> it would be ideal if I could do it in under an hour, but also like do a fabulous job. All right, we have a lot of cool glitters to choose from. I'm just gonna grab it, the ones that we want before we start um, pasting these on and stuff. The thing is that I have like countless amounts of sheer powder well, I have two that are this brand, but we're not going to use that today, I don't think. Oh, yeah, we have the white sheer powder, too. I think I'm just going to go with the glitter today and see how that goes. And then for Christmas, we might do more white. I don't know. Where'd that white sheer stuff go? Look, Kitty is taking a nap on the floor. She's being so cute. 
cool. I got this other little organizer thing here. That kind of fits perfectly. Alright, cool. Let's get this white stuff just in case. Alright, this is good for getting all our stuff like ready, what we want to use. Um Okay. Oh my god. I forgot to pull these out and show you, but these are what I didn't do for my birthday because I wasn't sure if I had that nail problem and I was like, I might have to take them off immediately. So I didn't use these yet, really, just like one or two. And definitely gonna use these nail gems today. Man, that's the part that we might want to go overboard in time, but we'll decide when we get there type of thing. We got this regular white glitter. I'll put that next to the white powder. All this old stuff I've already kind of used. Except for this stuff, I don't really under I don't really know how to use these things yet. These little lines. I feel like if I try, I'm just gonna waste my time and ruin ruin my nails. But luckily with gel nail polish, I feel like you can kind of make accidents that you wouldn't be able to make with regular um, air dry polish. So that's just my hot take. I'll put those there, although I don't think I'm gonna use those. Maybe. Oh yeah, these are the ones I was gonna say. Does anyone remember those? booths at the mall I don't know if they still have them but the true color booths where they have like all these like stacks of makeup and I at one point in my life was really kind of trying to collect some makeup and I still have a few of these stacks this is like one of two or three stacks that I still have from that era of time when I think I I don't remember how much they were but I felt I think that they were like 60 bucks or 40 but I don't know they were allowed to me at the time but I was wondering if I get those little um, rubby pad things. They're like lint free. Um, they're like eyeshadow. I don't want to say brushes, sponges. They're like sponge things. And so I was wondering if I get those eye eyeshadow sponge things. If I could use those um, with this. I guess it's made out of mica powder. It's like mica powder. It's a, a mineral powder. And if you add water to it, it gets extremely shiny and you can use it on your face. But I was wondering if you can also use it for nails. All right, cool. I think we got all the stuff out that we're going to use, at least from that box. And then, all right, so for these birthday nails, we're gonna use this mermaid stuff and it kind of just will look a little bit bluish to like whatever color we put this on top of, it's gonna make it like a bluish sort of glitter tint. And so it's going to be awesome no matter what color we use with it. I do have some cool turquoise, but I was kind of trying to do something different because I had used the turquoise before and it's really turquoise, you know, so maybe for the Christmas idea. Okay, this is really pretty, like purple, something we've never really done before. I've done a shit ton of silver. It's really tempting to do the silver, but how about purple? All right, I'm open. <laughs> We could do that one. How about there's pink? We could do purple and pink. And oh, chunky glitter. Yes. I think this is the one I'm going to want to use the most. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I can kind of see some turquoise in there, so I think it'll match that mermaid. All right. That's my favorite one. Oh my god, I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm so excited. It's because my birthday was the other day, friends, and so I was sent some presents, and this glitter was like $10 as a present. I was like, oh my god. Um, someone sent me a $25 gift certificate for Amazon, and I had a long list of things I've been wanting on there that I just didn't want to buy. <laughs> so, okay, so we're going to put on the nails next, and then... Um, there's a hair on that one. The thing is, is that the UV light thing is over there. All right, let me move this over here, actually. If anyone has any professional nail experience, let me know. Because I'm, I'm definitely open to constructive feedback and let me know if I'm doing everything wrong. <laughs> Okay, cool. I really appreciate constructive feedback when I learn something new or how I can improve. All right, cool. 
So can you see this um, amazing, here, there's this awesome thing happening here. It's the, uh, the new magnifying glass. This was a birthday present as well. Woohoo, birthday. Sometimes I'll just try to like overshadow my birthday and not really think about it, but this year I tried to spend some time to appreciate a little bit more time than usual, you know? Cute Well, the kitty's being really, really cute. Um, I'm about to put this on my nails with this here base coat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by adding a base coat onto my nails on the left hand. Try to get this in the perfect position if possible. Um, sometimes it's helpful if you have a little thing to set your hand on. That's one thing I don't really have yet. I mean, I guess I could use that, but it's over there. <laughs> I'm trying to get this over where I can rest my hand on it while I paint. Right, is this gonna work? Oh my god, maybe. That's kind of helpful. filing and stuff yesterday. I might just do a little bit more filing. Um, I feel like I should have a better file at this point in my life, but I'm upgrading bit by bit. I got nail art brushes. <laughs> Up the waz, you know. I just wanted to take a look at this um, under the, micro <laughs> the microscope, the magnifying glass and Like, uh, the nails are almost, oops, almost perfect the way they are. Wait, can I put this in here and still see everything? nervous because I want these to last and be amazing but I'm afraid that if I ruin them then I'm going to want to take them off you know uh, I'm just looking to see if there's even any like dry skin or does it look fine I think that I don't even need to push back my cuticles. It looks fine to me. I don't even really, I don't want to file down my nails anymore because I have done plenty of that. <laughs> I'm trying to grow them out and get them in better conditions. So, um, but it's just like, is the top straight? I'm going to try to straighten this a little bit. I think I'm supposed to get like non-metal. I don't know. I just try not to push hard with the metal files. Any pressure on the nail bed can cause like ridges, which is, I think what was happening to me is pressure on the nails, you know? So I think that having the nail covers really helps a lot because it protects my natural nails. Seems to work out well, as long as I don't accidentally rip them off or over file. I did accidentally over file with the e-file a couple times and I was like, ah! So my nails are kind of grown out from that too. Probably if you're someone who went to a professional nail artist for a long time, then you would probably do a better job at doing your own nails <laughs> if you were paying attention to what they're doing. But for me, I feel like I didn't really know, I hadn't really done, I'm just glad we're doing it now because um, gel nail polish is awesome, lasts longer. It says vegan and cruel, animal cruelty free on Madam Glam and some other products that I've seen.
All right, I'm trying to file it nice and straight across and nice and short, but not too short. <laughs> I'm trying to let it stay a little bit long so I can attach the nail, but I don't want to see too much nail, like natural nail underneath the nail. Okay. I think, um, almost. All right. Um, the only thing is that I've never tried this technique where I hold the nail under the glass. So I'm going to try that in a second too. Okay, cool. I think that this will work fine because it's like, all right, the the UV thing, um, I can kind of show you what it looks like. Mm. See how it's over here? Oh, that's really not too hard to show you. Okay, well, maybe we'll stretch it over there after, um, or wait, I don't know. Uh, I guess. Okay. Okay, I don't know, but maybe that'll work. It's kind of gross how you can see that um, that rust right there. I thought that plate would be perfect, but it's like almost perfect. Um, it's kind of a nice for us, to be honest. All right, we're about to put these on our fingers and then trim them down. Okay, cool. First, I'm gonna put a little bit of this um, acetone on my fingernails before I... Okay, so it turns out that there's this thing like called primer and nail bond, I don't even know. There's so many things that I don't even know. All I know is that if you don't have the dehydrator, that you can use acetone. And so I put a little acetone on the fingernails right before putting on any of the polish or the base. First I put on base coat and then polish. I'm gonna try not to get it on that thing just in case. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna etch the back of. Uh, maybe I should. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip that because if it lasts a week, then I feel like that's plenty for me because I, I do kind of want to switch them up again next Sunday. I think so. Cool. <clears throat> maybe that's a little better. So I'm gonna cover that so. God. <laughs> All right. What I might wind up doing is like, I don't know. I'm trying to think about like, if, is, if this gel nail polish is close to the UV lamp, how far away does it have to be before it's gonna like literally cure, you know, in its own bottle? Mm, I can't decide. I was gonna use this here and, and cure the base coat. One thing I am gonna do is like um, paint, paint the insides of those uh, with a little bit of base coat. hand first. You say to paint thin layers and you can like cure multiple thin layers and that's better than trying to cure thick layers, you know? Oh yeah, I think I see- oh god! 
know. Good thing for this man of hang those. What is this shit on my hand? <laughs> Good thing that the acetone will take off the gel polish. So if you get any on your fingers by accident, like just by touching the bottle. I mean, this, I'm actually gonna wipe off this bottle a little bit. Okay, first I'm doing the thumb on the left hand. Well, on the actual fair note thing. And then I'm gonna paint it on here. And this magnifying glass is so helpful. Oh my god, I can see. <clears throat> Alright, now I'm just going to cure it for a few seconds and then do another layer. I think on the second layer we'll try to stick it on. Not try, we shall! <laughs> I guess it would be sticky even if it does cure. So I'm like, how do I know if it's cured? <laughs> All right. I just wanted to make sure that there's at least one coat. I kind of want to do like one more coat on this, you know, at least like right here. I haven't been able to see this well ever while doing my nails. Did I already tell you guys that I went to the eye doctor and tried to get glasses? <laughs> well, I can go back and get glasses, but it would basically just be like reading glasses um, for the most part because the contacts that I, I figured I would try contacts and that did not work out. <laughs> I had high hopes. All right, I think that this will be fine. Okay, I don't know if like I should put one more layer. I think what I'm gonna do is just make sure this is wet on top and then get the, the nail. It's kind of how I did this before. This is just for the thumb. Cute kitty. Okay. I saw this pinched look. I like the pinched look, like not too pinched, but a little bit, you know? It looked cool, I thought. So I really wanted to be able to pinch the, the nail and like hold it on, make sure it's nice and secure when it's curing. I'm gonna make sure that it's under there for a minute because we just. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? 
So I'm always afraid of that it's not gonna like fully get on at the bottom there. And there's like a little like gap, you know? What do you do when that happens? Maybe we didn't cure it long enough right there. Alright, well, we're going to do our best and we might take it off in a week if we feel like it should be taken off at that point. <laughs> when in doubt. Alright, cool. So, these other nails, we can probably do a little bit faster. Alright, can you still see? I guess so. Alright. I'm gonna flash cure this first, um, this first little bit on the four fingers, and then we'll do another layer with the nails. This time we're gonna paint on the bottoms of these, but we're gonna attach them one at a time. It's gonna be amazing. I'll make sure to put a little bit extra maybe down there. I don't know. Just gonna make sure it attaches all in. Got it on. I'm gonna try to make sure it's pushing down like where it was like, you know, like at the bottom where the cuticle's at. I'm trying not to push it all the way to the cuticle, but maybe I should. I see some people like they'll like file, you know, if it if it's above the skin at the cuticle, they'll like file it a little bit. So that's what I guess we'll do. So we got it for 60 seconds per, I guess, fucking finger, sorry. <laughs> Part of my French, so I guess it'll take 10 minutes to get these on if we do it that way. Maybe we don't need it on that whole time. <clears throat> I think we do. One minute per nail with the 
curing it on. And then after that, we'll get them all in there for one final. Hey, kitty! Hi, Penny! Hi, Penny! The kitty is so cute. Middle finger. We're getting our system down with this new thing. Thanks for the thumb up, by the way. I noticed someone gave a little thumb up earlier. Hi, baby. Aww. Aww. It feels cute. Oh no, it looks a little bit crooked. <laughs> Just a little crooked. I can show you the kitty really quick. She's being so adorable. Cute baby. Alright. Alright, well that's not completely straight. Like me. <laughs> okay. This is cool. <laughs> I keep like forgetting about the magnifying glass and then be like, oh yeah. For the left hand. In fact, I don't think each finger needs that full minute because when we put it in there for the other fingers, you know. Well, this is definitely super helpful because before I wasn't able to put my hands underneath like this. This is new as of like yesterday. Or, yeah, this is the first time we've tried this uh, technique attaching the the fingernails with the underneath the glass oh wait can you even see that thing right now not really 
ですね。Feels good because、um, I don't think I got any of that gel all over the fingers like before. <laughs> I think we're finally getting a little bit better. All right, one second. I have to open the door for Kitty. Yes, girl. To increase my goal of like getting done within an hour to like two hours. <laughs> All right, thumbnail time. I just want to make sure it's all on there. I think it lifts off the thumbnail more than any other finger for me. We could use this for all kinds of other stuff too, crafts. I was chit chatting, even though there's no one in here. I'm just chatting with myself this whole time. Taking forever. <laughs> Everyone starts somewhere when you're a YouTuber. Okay, here we go. We're putting it on. Make sure I put on enough in here. All right, it's pretty much on. Four more to go. I wish I could function with them at this length at all times. <laughs> Such a cute cat. Oh my god.
More and more. And that's just getting them on. It is really fun to do nails. Oh god. I like to put on a layer of base coat and then another layer right before. Okay. Here we go. Anyone else got bonky neighbors? We got a nice bonky neighbor upstairs. I don't know what it is, but I think it's like a ski machine or something. I think it's one of those machines where you slide your butt on the ceiling because it always sounds like he's sliding his butt on my head. <laughs> I don't mind. I'm just glad he's getting some exercises. I'm not actually sure what it is though. Could be one of those like Nordic tracks or something. Those guys come crooked. Fuck. Fuck. What's getting on there? What's going on fucking crooked? <laughs> no. No. I thought this would help. I think I need to be able to like reach underneath like this to hold it and see that it's straight. It's not that crooked. I mean, I'm gonna file it later anyway. Okay, first layer on the finger. All right, that one's better. That one's straighter. Hmm. 
It's pretty fun, guys. It is relaxing. to getting them all over. What should I do? Should I paint them when they're nice and long? Even though I'd have to like probably cut them off to like work this week. <laughs> okay. Paint them. I don't know. Should we cut them short and keep try to keep them on for a long time? Or hmm. 
see. How how straight did they get? This one is super straight. I mean, this one's super crooked. This one is super crooked. These ones look awesome. In this direction, I look like fucking Edward, Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> this one right here looks janky as hell. <laughs> well, when I look at it in this direction, I definitely want to cut it off. <laughs> Some of them off. Um, shorter. But I did kind of want to practice like painting longer nails, you know? Because, like, it's so fun. Hmm. Well, if I cut them shorter, then I'll be able to, like, wear them all week. Cut them short, even though it's always so much fun to have long nails. <laughs> all right, cool. They're on. Um, we almost know, like, what colors we want to use and stuff. I was going to basically trim them down, I guess, and then... Use the file. Mm, I don't really like filing, it's so annoying. <laughs> but if I, even if I uh, painted them long today, then I would definitely file them down tomorrow. Because this is too long to use a computer. Hmm, they're so pretty when they're long though. What should I do? Hmm. They were a little bit like mid-length and I was able to deal with them <laughs> this last set. Alright. Kitty, you're so cute, girl. Alright, well now that we don't need we're not really using the curing thing right now. Got the polishers and things there. All right, let me see if um, we can get this, these nails to a manageable length and then file them down. How long will this take? What time is it now? Is it 3.15 already? All right, we're already 10 minutes past our goal, so it took me an hour when I'm like chatting and trying to stream, even if there's nobody here, it took me an hour just to put these on. <laughs> well, also, I mean, we had to choose the sizes and then put them on and everything, but still, I'm trying to like see how long does it really take me, that is. <laughs> All right, I want to try just doing like one. One clip and then file. That's what I'm going to go for. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, any shorter than that would be even more useful, but at least I got some pretty length there. I'm just eyeballing it, but I've seen that people have like measuring ways to measure this and stuff. Luckily, this clipper is kind of big enough to get most of the nail there. All right, this is the one that is as janky as like it gets. So I'm gonna try to clip it to compensate for how crooked it is. <laughs> Wish me luck with that. Go. Woo! All right. I only cut like half of the nails off, so um, throw these away. This may still be pretty too long if I'm trying to literally do computer work this week, which I definitely am. Hmm. I'm gonna cut them short. That's, I'm gonna be too annoyed. Sometimes I think maybe, I mean, Definitely next year I'll do some more 
manicures that don't involve these tips, but I'm kind of obsessed with them right now because I had just gotten them a couple months ago. Maybe tried them. I kept thinking to myself, oh, things would be so much easier if they weren't so long. All right, those will be better. One thing is that like, I just don't want to cut it worse than, <laughs> than the natural shape. Ideally, I get some that were the exact right shape and size that I want, but I don't really know what that is yet, so. We just put all those awesome nails on just to cut them down. But we'll be able to function. We'll be good. Oh my god. That one looks like a little bit wider than the... <laughs> okay. You know what? We're just practicing because... We are learning. After this, I'll be sure to wash whatever brushes I use and stuff. And tools, that is. Like at that bottom part right here, I've seen a lot of tutorials where it looks like people will just kind of like file it down a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do. Sorry, girl. Okay. We got a magnifying glass. Woohoo! Alright, never been able to see my nails so well doing this. Ow. I won't have to work nearly as hard. I can just hit the parts that I want. I saw another option for the magnifying glass. It was like goggles with magnifying glass on them. <laughs> I was like, maybe. I look like a mad scientist. Have the coolest nails ever. Oh wait, do people use this very often? Maybe. I hear that you're supposed to wear a mask if you're going to do a lot of this, but I think it'll be alright. Oh yeah, I just remembered how you can add some extra um, gel to the inside of the nails where it matches up with your nail. I'll do that. That way it doesn't get uh, germs in there and stuff.
trying to get this looking all right here. <laughs> uh, can't really see very well. Still. <laughs> it's because of the white background of the paper towel, but I have towels on here and I will be washing them later, so. When people build out their nails with like sculpture, sculpting gel and stuff, it's a different process. But when you just paste on the plastic nails, um, I think that a lot of people would prefer to, I don't know. Everyone has their own preferences, but I, I don't mind this method. I just heard that some gels will better conform to the nail, and this is the first type of plastic nail that I've ever used. So. I was going to maybe try the Gel X kind, wait, the A-Press? My friend uses A-Press Gel X and she said they're awesome. I was like, alright, but I just got this 500 piece set, so I wanted to use more of these before getting more. <laughs> I was like, I got nails for days, I'm going to make sure I'm going to use all these first. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, friends, for the holidays, I'm trying to gift some shirts to people. And at Target, I got a pack of five medium-sized shirts. I think it's like Fruit of the Loom or one of those main Hanes or something like that. And um, anyway, they're like blue and gray, and I was going to do reverse like bleach tie-dye on them for some holiday presents for people. So hopefully none of those people watch this video. So I'll try to make some uh, DIY with Jenny t-shirt vids for those gifts when I make them. Oh god. Alright, the part that really irks me is this part that is like right by the cuticle. Like I don't want to get too close to my cuticle, but I'm definitely going to trim down or file down this area a little bit. I don't know which one's better. I get really scared with this one that has a point on it. <laughs> I like this one that's more rounded.
trying to make sure it's nice and smooth on the side. That's one thing that bothers me throughout the day if it's not smooth right here. It's so cool to be able to like see into the magnifying glass. I swear I was like so blind before. For some reason the thumb is definitely the thickest of the cuticle. I think it's because of how rounded my thumb is. Anyway, I don't think I have to file down as much on these ones. It's just that little crevice at the very bottom and then I'm going to add some more gel at the bottom there to seal it together pretty much. Not trying to file my natural nail. It's nice to see <laughs> exactly what's happening. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that one's definitely like not straight, but it looks straight at first. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well, you know, we did our best. Alright. Almost done here. I'm just gonna file these ones down and do the color. It's a lip. I think that's what it's called. It's like a huge lip at the bottom of the nail. It's like thick. You know? I'm definitely trying to finish this up before it's dark, so... Yeah, 